Something I've wanted for a lot of years is the ability to cut straight lines with an angle grinder. I have finally made a tool to achieve this and I'm going to show it to you. This is a piece of old angle but I've glued pieces of tungsten carbide strip to the angle. They are 200mm long by 2.2mm thick. The adhesive I used was tiger seal spread evenly across the face. Tungsten carbide is very hard and to grind it you need a diamond cutter. A normal steel cutting disc won't have much effect on it. Some people have used angle as a cutting guide without this hard protection and after a few uses you'll grind into the steel removing the straightness it once had. You could just get another bit of angle if you wanted but it would have to be a straight bit. An angle often isn't that straight. I spent some time getting my angle straight and this is how I did it. I used my homemade shrinker stretcher but you could also do this with a press. You just have to hold it in a way that doesn't let it twist. The way I'm checking how straight this angle is, is by using sheet metal that has been cut with a guillotine. Bought sheet steel is cut via guillotine and should be pretty good as a straight edge for measurement. I'm using a feeler gauge with a 10 thou or 0.25mm thickness. There is one place that the feeler gauge just goes in, but apart from that it's pretty good, so I'm going to call this good enough. The angle I have chosen is 3mm thick with the long edge of 40 millimeters and I cut the short edge to around 17. Now I'm going to use it to cut this edge and then I'm going to measure how well it did. Notice how I'm cutting the metal in small depths of cut back and forth without going all the way through. The reason for this is the disc lasts much longer this way. If you cut this sheet at full depth or right through then I would probably use a whole disc to cut this length. The guard I've made allows me to do this as I would completely freehand. I like the fact that I don't have to worry about following a scribe line carefully, I just put a light pressure on the disc against the guide so that it doesn't wander off, emphasis on light. Something I also like about the guide is that it has a dampening effect on vibration from the sheet. Any vibration is another quick way to use up a disc. Obviously at some point the disc must go all the way through, unless you want to just break off the last bit, which you can actually do, but for this demonstration I'm not going to do that. Visually it looks good, but let's measure it using another sheet. There is one spot I can get the 10 thou feeler gauge in between the sheets, but the rest is good. If I spent a bit more time straightening the angle, I could have got this error out. Now I want to cut a strip of 30mm width. Something I really like about this guide is I can use a vernier to accurately measure where the guide needs to go. The disc measures 1.2mm, so to get 30mm, I need to set the guide at 31.2mm from the edge. Same again then, and let's see what we get. Measuring the strip, the width doesn't deviate more than 0.2 of a millimetre. I was really surprised how accurate this is. You try and get this accuracy from following a scribed line. Even scribing the line within this dimension would be difficult. I think this shows how repeatable the guide method is. There have been other attempts at straight cutting fixtures that attach to your grinder. But you don't have to bolt your grinder to anything with this. Swapping from freehand to guided doesn't take up any time, and how accurate are those other guided grinder attachments? I haven't seen any other examples of a guide using tungsten carbide to prevent wear. I think it's a good idea, and I'm super happy with the results. You can buy tungsten carbide strips on eBay, they're about £10 each. But if this tool lasts as long as I think it will, then it's money well spent. Having a straight, accurate edge really helps with making fold lines, for example, or when you want to mark a 90 degree using a square. It just makes life a little easier when you do not have a guillotine. Not to mention, it's visibly neater. I made this tool in 1 hour 30 minutes, and some of that time was cutting one edge off the angle. Shame I didn't have the cutting guide to help me make the cutting guide. Actually, if I made a smaller version, then I could use this cutting guide to make the cutting guide. 